Imaging objects outside a camera's direct line of sight has important applications in robotic vision, medical imaging, remote sensing, and many other domains. Time-of-flight based non-line of sight imaging systems use pulsed lasers and time-resolve sensors to illuminate a position on a surface, probe the indirect light which returns from a hidden object, and recover 3D geometry. Recent approaches to solving this challenging inverse problem include filtered back projection and the light cone transform. However, these approaches are either slow, assume a hidden object with Lambertian reflectance, or may not account for non-planar scanning surfaces or non-confocal measurements. We present a fast, wave-based image formation model for non-line-of-sight imaging called FK migration. Inspired by inverse methods used in seismology, this frequency domain approach generalizes to reflective or specular surfaces and improves upon other approaches. To demonstrate our method, we build a hardware prototype capable of scanning room-sized scenes and capturing outdoor results. Here is a set of confocal measurements captured for an indoor scene. If we play the measurements over time, we can directly visualize light from the hidden volume splashing against the wall like ripples on a pond. Also note the bright specular flashes from the disco ball. Here's a comparison of the reconstructed 3D volume with each of these methods. Note that FK migration produces a clean, high-quality result. In seismology, FK migration is used to map out the structure of underground surfaces. An explosion generates shock waves which scatter off of underground structures and are then recorded by geophones at the surface. Here, the shock wave is analogous to the wavefront of light, an optical non-line of sight, which propagates outwards from each illuminated point on the wall. Rather than modeling the two-way propagation of light from the wall to the object and back, we can think of the light as being emitted by the hidden object at time zero and traveling at half the speed of light to the wall. The captured measurements thus contain the intensity of a wave field arriving at the wall over time, and reconstructing the geometry of the hidden volume corresponds to finding the value of this wavefront at time zero. This is a boundary value problem which requires us to migrate the field from one boundary condition at the wall to another in time. FK migration solves this problem in three simple steps. Starting with the measurements at the wall, we take the Fourier transform to calculate the spectrum. We interpolate the spectrum based on constraints from the wave equation as detailed in the paper. Applying the inverse Fourier transform returns the hidden volume. Our hardware prototype consists of a laser, detector, electronics, and various optics and optomechanical parts used for focusing and scanning. This system enables fast, high-resolution scanning with an average laser power roughly 10,000 times greater than previous non-line-of-sight systems. This scene consists of simulated measurements of a specular bunny. Using FK migration allows us to more accurately recover the 3D geometry compared to the light cone transform. Moreover, as shown in this captured scene of a bicycle, FK migration is more resilient to noise in the measurements for short exposure times. We demonstrate capture at interactive rates of 2 frames per second with a higher resolution scan and 4 frames per second at lower resolution. Here, the actor is dressed in a retroreflective suit to increase the amount of available signal. Note that the position and pose of the actor can be readily recognized in the reconstruction. An outdoor scene consists of a statue and a plant on top of a table with a white tablecloth. We capture this scene for 50 minutes under indirect sunlight during twilight and reconstruct the 3D geometry.
We capture a number of other results and demonstrate extensions of our method to handle non-confocal measurements and non-planar scanning surfaces as detailed in the paper. We will also make these datasets publicly available. In conclusion, we make a step forward for non-line-of-sight imaging with a new wave migration procedure which handles varied surface reflectance properties, is fast, robust to noise, and which we demonstrate on large-scale scenes.